And now it's only appropriate that we'll use knife tool to carve the pumpkin. So press K for knife tool and we'll start our cut right here. You will see it snaps. Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to make this stylized pumpkin. Um, the spooky season is almost finished, so let's give it one more shot. And I really hope you will enjoy this one. And if you do, please don't forget to leave the like. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through local illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environment. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all let's select the light and the cube, press X and delete and we'll use the camera later. So let's press shift A and we'll add mesh and UV sphere and let's modify the segments. So let's click here and let's modify this to only 8 and, and something like 4 rings should be ok. Let's confirm and now let's tab into the edit mode, let's look from the front and let's press S then Z and scale it like this and press G then Z and move it up um, just like that and now select the bottom vert right here um, if you don't have the vertex select active make sure you activate it right here hold shift select the top vertex and now let's press ctrl B and then V to enable vertex bevel and let's do a bevel like this okay and now we can press X and delete those faces so we have holes at the top and the bottom so let's press 2 for edge select now or click here and now let's hold ctrl and alt and click these edges now additionally we'll hold shift so ctrl alt and shift and continue selection this way and now press ctrl b to create the bevel and increase number of cuts with the mouse wheel like this you can hold shift for smaller increments okay i think this will be enough and now let's alt click the ring at the top and alt shift and click the bottom and press F to fill and now press I to inset and we'll use the loop tools add-on if you don't have it active just go edit preferences add-ons search for loop and just check the box right here close the preferences and now if you right click you will see the loop tools options right here and choose circle and now let's look from the top and we'll just rotate it a little bit so press R and rotate it so it gives a little bit nicer geometry here just like this and now let's press S then Z and scale it towards the middle and now let's hold alt select this edge loop hold shift additionally so alt and shift and select all of these around and now we'll deselect some so let's look from the top by pressing 7 on an ampet and hold control and do a selection like this so we deselect them um, make sure you deselect all of these um, even in this outer ring and now let's press 9 on an ampet to look from the other side and let's do the same thing right here we can make this selection larger to make sure that we get every one of these make sure you don't deselect um, accidentally some of these on the outside so let's maybe hold shift and deselect them manually right here now let's rotate and let's press s then shift z to lock this on x and y axis and just push this inside like that and now we can tab out and let's go to the modifiers panel and let's add subdivision surface modifier with only one level of subdivision that will be enough for now so let's click here and apply the modifier i want to work with this geometry so let's look from the front and first thing i want to do is to go into the edit mode let's press tab press a to select all and we can push it down a little bit because it's hovering so press g then z and move it down and now let's enable x-ray view right here press one for vertex select and select all of these vertices on one side press x and delete them um it should give you something like this and now we don't want these holes right here so first of all let's add mirror modifier and let's enable clipping and now we'll fill these so press 2 for edge select hold shift and select these edges press f to fill right here as well and let's do the same thing at the bottom and finally you can dissolve the vertex in the middle so it's not pinched so press 1 select this vert and press ctrl x and do the same thing here 
So let's now look from the front by pressing 1 on an unpad. And now it's only appropriate that we'll use knife tool to carve the pumpkin. So press K for knife tool. And we'll start our cut right here. You will see it snaps. So let's click here. And let's snap on this edge right here. Like this. And now let's continue this way. And we can go all the way to this vertex right here. Now let's go towards the bottom. Like this. Now here. We can create a new one there and let's close it up like this. And now just press enter to confirm. Press three for face select, hold shift, select these additional faces, press X and delete them. Okay. And now let's press one for vertex select, select these two and press J to join them. And same on the other side. So we don't have these angles there because we plan to use subdivision modifier some more. And now let's press K again for the knife tool and we'll create the mouth and let's start the cut right here and let's continue this way and we'll create these like triangles here just like that and one more and here we'll close it up so let's go back one more triangle Let's snap it here. Okay. And let's finish right here. Let's confirm with enter. And now I want to move some of these a little bit lower. So let's select the vertex, press G twice to slide it down along the edge and here as well. And this one a little bit up and here as well. Okay. Now press three for face select and select all of these faces. And of course we'll delete them. So press X and delete. And now let's take care uh, of the geometry a little bit. Um, if you want, you can have another triangle right here. So we can do another cut here and right there as well. Let's delete those. Okay, I think this will be fine. Maybe we can move this a little bit higher up. Right, and now let's tab out. Let's go ahead and add another subdivision surface. And right here we can go two levels of subdivision, maybe even three. Let's try it out. And now let's go ahead and let's add the solidify modifier to give this some volume, but we'll move it above the subdivision. So it gets subdivided as well, like this. And now we'll just play with the thickness right here. And this should work nicely. Okay, I guess this is fine. And you can still go ahead and, you know, make changes. So for example, if you want to cut away some more parts, um, it's very easy to do right here because this is still planar um, geometry. So yeah, I think I really like this. And maybe if you want, you can cut out the nose as well. So again, just make the cut and delete the face and you have some more, you know, openings there, right click and shade smooth. So that's the pumpkin head and let's now finish with some stem. So let's tap out and select this edge right here. Hold shift S and snap cursor to select it. Now let's tap out and let's press shift A and we'll add a circle. And let's modify this to something like 16. Tap into the edit mode and press S to scale it down. Again, we can enable X-ray view. And now let's go for vertex select by pressing one and press E then Z to extrude S to scale, press F to fill and I to inset. And again, a little extrusion and let's make it smaller by pressing S and alt click the outer loop and we'll extrude this down. So E then Z and make it smaller. So tab out and press control two. Uh, this is the shortcut for adding subdivision modifier again. And now we can disable the X-ray right click and shade smooth and we can now push this up and maybe make it a little bit larger. Now let's hold shift S and snap cursor to select it. Let's look from the front and let's press shift A and we'll add mesh and single word. If you don't see this option here, you need to go edit preferences, add-ons, search for extra and enable add mesh extra objects. So again, just check the box, close the preferences and then you will see this option right here add single vert and let's press E, make sure you are in the vertex select mode and let's extrude the stem. And right here I will do like small extrusions here 
and continue this way and again let's make at least two for the corner okay something like this now let's step out right click and convert to curve now let's go to the geometry settings and let's add some depth and we can choose custom profile um, they will make it a little bit more stylized so now let's tab in select this vertex right here or the control point rather and now activate the proportional editing and press alt s and scale it down and we can adjust the fall off with the mouse wheel like this now disable it and let's make this larger at the end and now we can tab out right click and convert to mesh let's tab in alt click here and press f to fill tab out and press ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface right click and shade smooth and additionally we can tap back in press ctrl r to add a loop cut right here so it's a little bit smoother there so now we can just scale it up maybe push it down a little bit and that's your pumpkin model so let's now just select everything hold shift select the pumpkin press ctrl p and parent to object so it can be moved at once and now let's hold shift s snap cursor to world origin let's press shift a and we'll add the plane now tab into the edit mode and scale it up and let's look from the camera by pressing zero on an numpad and we can select the camera press g then z move it up and press g then z twice to bring it closer and now let's rotate the pumpkin and we can go lower with the camera so you can press n for the side panel and in the view options enable camera to viewport so now you can use viewport controls to adjust your camera so something like this here and don't forget to deactivate this and now let's go to the render settings i will choose cycles gpu and enable the noise ink switch here for optics and reduce samples to something like 512 and let's press shift a and we'll add a light and choose area light bring it up press g then z let's go and switch it to disk and bring up the value to something like 150 we'll see how that works press ctrl b to limit the preview only to camera bounds and now hold z and switch to rendered preview so this is a little bit strong so let's move the light towards the back a little bit and then further down so we'll have some nice backlight there and let's now press shift d to duplicate it somewhere here and we can make it larger so it's softer and maybe reduce to something like 100 and now let's press shift a and we can add some spotlight bring it up and now let's hold period on a keyboard and switch to 3d cursor or you can do it right here and press r twice to enable trackball rotation and rotate it from behind okay and bring it up a little bit and now we can increase the power to something like 1500 uh, but really i don't want this to touch uh, the background so let's bring it down and higher up like this so we only light up the pumpkin from behind like this okay let's now select the background create a new material and let's go something darker like dark violet and now for the pumpkin of course we'll need something orangey and let's increase the roughness and here we can go some dirty green color with the full roughness and same here maybe a little bit darker like this now let's make sure this is not touching um, so first of all let's increase the radius a little bit and bring it higher up like this so it only gives us this nice rim light from behind like that and now let's modify the light colors so this one can be a little bit like an orangey and maybe stronger now for the background let's increase the roughness and let's move this around and for the background color let's try to pick something like this and of course we'll add a point light so let's press shift a light and point and bring it up and let's make it stronger so something like 150 and i think if we give this some subsurface so something like 0 
Uh, that's probably too much. So 0, 0, 005 or 0 0.05 and let's reduce the radius to 0 0.1. We should have some nice scattering there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And now let's press Shift D to duplicate this one and try to bring it up. So we have some more light coming from above. And yeah, right now in the world settings, let's give this some color to blend it together nicely. And let's go to the render settings, color management. Let's choose some medium high contrast setting and play with exposure. Okay. And maybe this can be darker. Okay, so um, that's the quick pumpkin tutorial and I really hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, please leave that like and if you're new around here, hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.